what is going on everybody Keyless Gaming here Horizon Zero Dawn part 3 uh, yeah I kind of got my headset rigged up for now so I can at least talk and chat with people for right now so hopefully that lasts um, in my last video uh, Horizon Zero Dawn part 2 that I posted um, I fucked up pretty bad um, I had a case laying a game case laying on my table and it had the ubisoft symbol on it and subconsciously when i looked at it it just started spewing out and i said that ubisoft did a great job on this game ubisoft didn't make this game <laughs> so sorry about that and good job to the gorilla company for you know doing this and everything else like that they did a good job so again i apologize for saying it was ubisoft but uh yeah this game definitely is uh, really, really kick-ass so far. I, I haven't found anything so far that I don't like about it, so. As always, remember you can check out Keeler's Gaming on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Tumblr, and YouTube. Any and all support towards any of those channels or anything like that is highly appreciated. And I choose people from my Facebook and uh, my YouTube, whenever I have something to give away, whether it's codes, whether it's, you know, I don't even know. Uh, I need to come up with some more ideas on what to do for giveaways and stuff like that. Because, you know, I don't always have codes to give away unless there is a beta coming up, so. But, you know, whatever. I do what I can where I can. What the fuck's going on here? Oh yeah, this video, yeah, that's right. My last video, I didn't really do much. I did some side quests, like leveling up and stuff. This one, I'm going to focus more on story missions, though. You have the firearms. I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark? Is something else bothering you? No, I'm fine. I saw Karst and got that tripcaster I was talking about. I hate to think what that outlaw trader charged for a weapon of that make. It wasn't cheap, but the caster is worth it. Perhaps. You'll know it's worth soon enough. I don't understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. What can we do from in here? The lesson will be taught in due time, Aloy. Till then, we wait. Are you worrying about what happens after the proving? What happens is clear. You will be accepted as one of the tribe, and I will still be an outcast to be shunned. Rost, even if the tribe accepts me, I won't. There is much to do, Aloy. We'll discuss this later. Okay. Still a while to go before dark. I guess I'll get some rest. Good idea. There'll be no time for sleep tonight. Rest up, kid. Okay. okay. Opening a gate for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. <sighs> so much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy. With threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass! What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new, something angry. 
Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. Yeah. Follow the path. It's not far. That cabin. What happened to it? A machine, that's what. What sort of machine does that? The sort of machine you're hunting now. Oh. I see. <coughs> oh, Where am I? Oh, I'm going up here. Your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Watch your surroundings. Why are we the only ones out here tonight? Why can't the tribe's braves hunt this machine? They did. The kills we passed are theirs. Tomorrow, they will hunt again. They won't need to. This machine will be my kill. Or your death. If you're not careful. Good attitude to have. I appreciate it. Yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. No matter what happens, I will not intervene. You understand? You are on your own. I should stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps?
trying to see where it's going first before I actually do anything. I at least stand up, you fucking dick. Oh, apparently not. Well, first lesson in dealing with sawtooths. They're fast as fuck and you stand no chance when you're up close. Alrighty then. I should stay out of sight. Get no shit. Use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps?
Time to run. Where to exactly? I have no idea. What the fuck? The hell is this bullshit? Safe for a few minutes, anyway. Just stay out of their way for now. <laughs> oh shit! How did that not do anything? What the fuck? And now I'm gonna die and have to do all this all over again because that fucking trap didn't do a damn thing.
Okay, there we go. Forget about traveling light. Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. <clears throat> that is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh. Such as? I'll be waiting for you when it is time. I'll see you at Mother's Heart, then. You will. One second here, guys.
keep that for later. Hey. Walk around for a minute. Damn.
Hey. So, it's time. Are you ready? No. Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it will <laughs> seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. Every single it was one? you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs. A center of Nora life. A jewel of the sacred land. Give it time. And you'll grow fond of it. As I was. Back when I was at the tribe. Are you sure they're gonna let me in? <laughs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. Probably not. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this to remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This... Attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. You ass! No, it's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. Kind of blows brains out. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you. Proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. Fall parentless once again. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. But make way. Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. It's been seven Come years and you look the exact I'm same. Sure most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja, come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. 
Carja. But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? I don't have any friends. Who are they? I love this part. Yay! <laughs> Me too! Correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hoped to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead. A maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. <laughs> there. Try it on whenever you feel like it. Uh, thank you, Tep. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. It Every literally said no more protection. Some advantage. It's always a trade off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck.
Hmm, let's try another mod. Jog! Get down from there! Bad enough you're drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Oh, not supposed to go climbing on other people's Shit. roofs, huh? Keep calling me. Get Stop down there. from there! Now! Oh, that's just what you want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head. What I want is for you... What an idiot he is. Every year this happens. Every year. I want to see this somebody fall on my head. not trying to run a grave trail. Listen carefully now. You for you'll have to tell this when I'm gone. Surprises. In the beginning, all life came from all mother. People it's for the goddess to judge the cards, not me. All the were past should be children. left in the past. They lived alongside each other in the comfort of her wild embrace. But some grew restless. They Though they took of her day. bounty, they wanted more. These were the faithless. Perhaps the cards have the come to make a move. Uh, let's see if this merchant, merchant has up here. Aloy, over here. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the Proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. I'll give you my best prices, I promise. So I guess the merchants carry the exact same thing. Good luck tomorrow, Aloy. Oh, 
All sales are final. If it breaks, you're out of luck. Time you'll be a brave. I doubt it. So, mother's heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. Okay. Always happy to take your shards. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace is peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. Hand of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Killers and slavers! Hey, hey! Luminance hold hold your fruit, nor, uh, nor if faithful. Hold your fruit. Now I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Oh, yeah, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude Written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. Well, that guy got one too. It's for the gods to judge the cards of not even ice to pass should be left in the past. Possibly a folk of another person's device. The cards just stand with you as the sun's light frames the stoutest tree. As those you have nurtured, He's wearing a focus. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. <laughs> Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. <laughs> What's wrong? Apologies. Ah, uh, malfunction. Oh, Lynn, you making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No, uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey, 
He got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. What else do you know about Olin? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Now let me introduce you. Ring locked. Impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. It might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. Tell me about Olin again. When he's not scrounging, I've known him for a few years. Okay. I thought your friend was going to go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I wanted to ask you something else. Hey, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that would be a better time to talk. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. Well, take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> <laughs> Were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass, and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, 
and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth. Yeah, <laughs> ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? Uh, no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire Vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. Tell me about the derangement again. Well, the way I hear when a hunt, so it was harder than the now. A few more, if that wasn't. Like the saw too. Yeah, ten. So what's. Uh, no one. So what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the son sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. You said that like six times. Who are the Asaram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things, arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters, what are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries, you know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. I want to ask you about... Ask away. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... <laughs> It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. Uh, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? Could you get any more obvious? Jesus Christ. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, something's going on with my controller here. It seems to sort this stuff out. Are in place. Get out the fucking way! Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants, before each of you. It's a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. Pretty sure that's gonna slip me there with a rock. <laughs> light its flame. This is for me. For all I did to make it here. And the answers I'll get after I win the proving. Oh, Mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love.
There's Olin. I have some questions for him. Yeah. Hello, Olin. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asarum homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the king's court. That's all. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. Fire and spit, girl. I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me? That's your trouble, not mine. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need the bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're... you're very present here! <sighs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. I'm a beat your ass. We aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. You can sense it. You already know you're gonna lose. <laughs> I've trained all my life for the Proving. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. Really? Confidence is quiet. 
you're not. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. What I remember is how the other children saw that you were a monster. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. Well, shit. Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. So, your first day in Mother's heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. It has... certain charms. Homey enough. Once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest. Look how nobody else's hair is blowing around except mine. Braves! Ready yourselves! What will it take to get you out of here? Looks like a grazer. Oh shit. Well, that was a fucking waste. Oh, I feel like I'm just kind of just standing here not doing anything. I gotta figure out what the fuck is happening here. Alright. So I guess we all just gotta kill these fucking things, I guess? I thought it was for, like, everyone for themselves at first, but it looks like all of us are fighting them, like, together type thing. <laughs> Come down from there. Are you for fucking real right now? <laughs> You're trying. 
trophy is shattered, outcast. Looks like you'll need another. Oh shit, I can't even make any of those. Gotta be something easier than this shit. Well, might as well get this last one before I fucking run out of here. Holy shit. this. I gotta catch up. Yeah, no shit. Slow and steady now. All you need is to finish. That makes all but one. Is the outcast coming? She was behind me. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urvala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. And of course, we're going for the hard one. My old mother, are you crazy? You gotta kill yourself. It doesn't get any easier. You're insane to go that way. That's it. No, we put it forward now. Right there. Just there. Gotta catch up. You don't want to do this. You me. I can't see. Boss, the ball of that. Come on now. Stop dragging. Where the fuck are we going? Oh, up. Hey, gotta keep going. The outcast. The real trail? Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. The outcast is catching up. How'd she get up there? Oh, shit. <laughs> I've trained my whole life for this. They had a tribe. 
But I had the wild precision. Not enough. Must be perfect. Then beat me now. <laughs> she didn't win. The outcast cheated. An outcast win the proving. Never saw that coming. For she is a brave now. You did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast. And now brave. Who is first among us. Ah! Yeah. The fuck is this shit now? Oh. What are you doing, bitch? We can't hold them. Oh, mother, help us. Kill them. Why does she keep fucking jumping on shit? Go. Too many of them. Jesus Christ. Even makes you stop running when you're fucking healing yourself. Alright. Watch out! There's more of them! Fucking cunt. We can't hold them! Oh mother, help us! What the fuck, man? So far this game's been fucking awesome. The combat so far is sucking some dick. Like, she just fucking hops over shit, like, randomly. Kill them! They're too strong! We can't stop them! Kill the invaders! Fucking kidding me. Too many of them! We can't win! Well, maybe if somebody fucking helps me out here instead of hiding like little bitch faggots.
Oh, this is really starting to piss me off. Too many of them. I like how the meanest fucking person or whatever the person that's trying to act the most badass is the fucking biggest bitch of the group. It's usually how it goes. Biggest mouth, fucking. Oh, mother, help us! Smallest balls, basically. Fucking coward. Kill the defilers! A gift from the shadow. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Kill the invaders! You better be able to upgrade your fucking ball eventually, because this is sucking some ass. Can't stop them. What the fuck is this person doing? Bleed for the shell the defilers! Oh my god, I'm getting really tired of this fucking faggot shit. Them. And you can't even get up there either? Like, run. suck my fucking dick, cunt. You cannot run from righteousness. Fucking asshole. Descend while we have a chance. Yeah, make they, them go first. Oh, Jesus Christ. I fucking hate this blonde faggot. I'm gonna drop his fucking head off. What the fuck does he have? Oh my god. What a fucking idiot. The red hair dies now. Everyone! Kill them! What?! Technically, these people should be easier than machines, because at least when I take out a machine, they can communicate with people. These guys can't communicate with anything. Strike unavailable. Yeah, well, let's change that shit. Really? Wow, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, I definitely do not like the combat in this game. Like, I get that there's a skill tree and shit that you can upgrade your person, but like, you're so fucking slow. And the drawback on your bow is fucking retarded. Like in the slow motion thing, you can only get like one shot off before it's empty. Like, that's fucking garbage. What? And that doesn't damage him at all?
There's no fucking way. This is why with most games like this, I don't do story missions until I, like, I level up the chick, like, completely, or your character completely. Because this is fucking dumb as shit. I shot the dude square in the fucking forehead with a fire arrow and it did nothing. And for some reason it took my fucking tripwire thing away, like, what the fuck is that about? a different fucking tab. Are you kidding me? Me, Holy shit! That way yet, figures as much. Whoa. Come on, one more. way like straight up this is retarded it's got me be an easier way to take this guy Behind me again? Are you fucking serious right now? Yeah. Holy shit, and he climbs up here too. Okay, run, bitch. Check these out. Small machines and humans. Shit. Try this one then. Oh, okay, that's the only thing else is working. Are you kidding me right now? I have the 
separate these guys more than anything. I would miss. Why would I not miss? Like, seriously. Come on, man. Fuck. Shit. That was such a piss off. Oh my god, man. Looks like he has crayons, but they're really bullets. <laughs> Get up, get in there, and help him. Like, for fuck's sakes, I hate when movies and shows do this. Like, the one person just lays on the ground the whole time while the other person's, like, fighting for them or helping them fight. It's just, like, really? How is that stick not breaking? Like, for real. Yep, that was coming. And Buddy's got like M203 grenades on his fucking belt. What the fuck? Burn it all. Then to your task. As you command. The fuck do those guys have? 
flamethrowers. Did you just call me Leroy? Push the bitch off a cliff. even cut that bad. Somebody stole my fucking computer thing. Bastards. Frost saved me. Frost saved me, but he fucking blew himself up, so that's not much use to me, is it? He must have found me before I bled out. Fucking bled out. Look at no scar, no mark. It's all good. I need to find my focus. Oh, we're in the fucking metal ruins or whatever. Oh my clothes. Good. But where's my focus? It's here. Okay. Wait. Am I inside the sacred mountain? But only matriarchs are allowed inside. You're a wizard, Harry. I, I don't see my bow here. Or that. I don't know, but we don't need the protection anymore, so let's grab some mass. Very uncommon. The one I took off that. Killer. Where are they?
guess I have to go that way. I'm picking up some kind of signal. I fell into when I was young. There, with the rest of my things. Must be the damaged focus, the one I took from that killer. It's close. I like how every time she starts thinking and shit, awake. she's always thinking out loud. Quickly, you must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. Are you saying I was born here? Inside the mountain? It is easier if I show you. Please, just follow me. She's here, but she's fucking dead. Does my mother look like me, but with short hair? I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. Hmm. I'm about we grew you in a tube bitch come but somebody did what is this place the great chamber where all mother slew the metal devil and gave birth to you Aloy, the Proving Massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is... everything. This 
is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always, that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others, like Lanzra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But this isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. My mother? <gasps> oh. oh shit. Hold for identity scan. The goddess speaks. Just like the woman I saw. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No, no. Please. Aloy, all mothers spoke to you, as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption, the goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you had visions. Of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me. Because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Owen. He was one of the outsiders. The night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. I really just need a save point, is what I need. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. How was the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now the only plan my sister and matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy. As though she would not want us to help ourselves. I feel like that's gonna do a whole lot. What's your plan? This. This was my plan. To show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny all mother intended for you. The other High Matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talking. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the Goddess spoke to Aloy. Told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A secret? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker! Sister! For once, Lanzra, join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. This game pretty much like hits religion like right on the head. Just like old people fucking Aloy, making up this by the shit. Holy grace of the one goddess, 
We hereby anoint you a seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May all mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn. Our hopes lie with you. Tirsa, what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the sacred land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. You said the Nora sent a war party after the killers. Yes. But it was ambushed and overrun. Very few escaped alive. And most that did were wounded. Do you know where the killers went? No. But you could ask Varl, one of the braves guarding the gates of the Embrace. He survived the ambush. He would know more. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means do so. I have no doubt you will find people in need throughout the embrace. Have there been other seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. Was Rost a seeker? No. Not a seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. Fuck! What was done with Rost's body? He was in I'm tiny pieces. There was very little left to recover. Mm hmm. But what there was, we buried at the place where he raised you, with flowers on the grave. Thank you. So, I can go anywhere at all. No restrictions. Even to forbidden places, like the tainted lands beyond all mother's sight. Or the ruins of the metal world. I see. She's like, hell yeah! Why are the lands beyond Nora territory called tainted? Is it not obvious? Our land is sacred. We live in sight of the one goddess, all mother, source of all that lives. Beyond her sight lies a vast fallen land, spiritually tainted. That is why it is against tribal law to leave. But the Seeker Blessing will protect you. I'm sure it will. Why are the ruins of the Metal World forbidden? They are blighted places, Aloy. Dark and wicked. Like the children of Metal who built them. When they rebelled and tried to murder Old Mother, her wrath leveled their cities, but could not cleanse their sin. Their ancient spite haunts those ruins, ready to ensnare anyone foolish enough to enter them. But I've been in a ruin. It looked a lot like the inside of All Mother. That cannot be so. It is. Then, this is something beyond my understanding. I will trust you to reveal the truth. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the Embrace. Speak to Varl, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all Mother bless you and watch over you. Nora Faithful! We will soon begin. Purify your hearts. 
Hey, I need a fucking save point. We like, beg forgiveness Jesus. for the sins that brought such misery on the tribe. Oh. When we hear the matriarchs lift their voices, we will join ours to theirs. Washes away the taste of metal. She saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to have her. Finally, holy fuck. Been on duty all day. Well, this is where I end this because this broadcast has been long as fuck. Um, Aloy! Oh my god, Aloy! what the hell does this guy want first? I heard the rumors, but I didn't know for sure until I saw you just now. <sighs> I'm glad to see you're okay. What are you doing here with a bow and spear, Teb? You're a stitcher, not a brave. Most of our braves are dead. Or wounded Aloy. Someone has to defend Mother's Watch, so I thought I'd help out. I should be okay. Just as long as I don't try to run any brave trails, right? I need the gate opened. Do you have any idea how dangerous it is out there? I need to pass through. You'll have to talk to Resh then, up on the wall. He's the new war chief. I'm not sure he'll help you. Why wouldn't Rush help me? Well, he says... ...mean things about you. That I'm a motherless curse, an outcast, that sort of thing? Yeah. I wish he hadn't been made war chief, but Sona disappeared after the ambush. They say she went after the killers all by herself. Who is Sona? Sona was the tribe's war chief. But she went missing after the war party was ambushed. You probably saw her at Mother's Heart. A tall, lean woman with dark skin and long white hair. Her daughter ran in the Proving, but... she died. Was Vala her daughter? Yes. She was. I liked her. So did I. What sort of rumors did you hear? That you were wounded. Expected to die. And then... High Matriarch Tirsa insisted that you be allowed to heal inside All Mother. Huh. That caused a stir. Only Matriarchs are allowed to enter the mountain. But... You deserve the honor. The survivors had told everyone how you fought to save them. I wasn't the only one to fight. I definitely no. was. They spoke of Bast and Vala, too. And Rost. The man who raised me. He... He fought to save me, and... He died for it. The survivors didn't speak of him. But I remember him. He was there that... Day when you saved me. I remember he stepped in front of you when my father started yelling. If by dying he saved your life, Aloy... I don't think he regretted it. I should be on my way, Teb. May all mother go with you. Uh, yeah. well, I gotta talk to this cunt scab just to open the gate and let me save my game! Continue the report. There are rumors I need the gate opened. <laughs> Since when has any outcast's need been my concern? Since I was anointed a seeker. Now open the gate. You? A seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? Bad enough that they let you run in the Proving. But to nurse you back to health inside the Sacred Mountain? <sighs> no wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. And where were you when those children were being slaughtered? Or the war party ambushed? Guarding your little gate here? I am the Nora War Chief, and this gate is Mother's Watch. I have been anointed a seeker by the High Matriarchs, so do as I say and open the gate, or we will settle this in blood. The sooner you're gone from here, the better.
Dozer. That we have a war chief, he's a complete fucking douchebag and kind of seems sort of useless. And then we have Tab, but he's fucking useless kid that's never fought anything in his life. It's better gate. Wonderful. By the goddess, what you doing to them? We're taking control. Because his arrows are gonna do a lot, right? Oh my god. Robert and that was fine. Oh, this not this curse. Kill them, Braves! Kill them all! I just wanted to save my fucking game! Today we fight a curse! A demon! Oh, mother, give us strength! Won't be long. Gotta get in position. Here it comes. Attack! The Striders! It's driven them mad! <laughs> oh my god. Witness fire. My witness is fire too, you ass frig off. Ah! No, let me out. No! <laughs> Everybody's gonna be fucking dead, and then I'm gonna do all this by myself again. And there's no ladder either. Fucking hell, man. They really screw you over making this fucking game. Are you fucking serious right now? There we go. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god. Yeah, I definitely do not like the combat in this game at all. Braves! Ready yourselves! You would have to jump down off the fucking wall, right? Like shit, bro. Gotta get in position. Here it comes. Attack! Watch the striders! It's driven them mad! Get a fucking break with these things. I'm not even gonna try and jump over that. Stuck on literally everything. Holy fuck. Brave, ready yourselves. Today we fight a curse, a 
Okay, like for real, what the fuck do I need to do these? Those sparker things. Fucking hell. Won't be long. Gotta get in position. Here it comes. Attack! Watch the striders! It's driven them mad! Can you not? Like fucking shit. Oh my god. Now I'm gonna fucking die because I don't even know what the fuck is going on with this thing. Okay, no, put that down. Here we go again with this bullshit. At least we're figuring out how to kill him very fucking slowly, but we are figuring it out. Yeah, go hide under the house. Oh my god, man, go fuck yourself. Well, I just figured out how to use those fucking potions by accident. That's That would have been good to know before that. Oh, fucking hell, man. All I wanted to do was save like half an hour ago, get fucking done with this bullshit. Gotta get in position. I know that you fought bravely. Here it comes. Attack! Watch the striders! It's driven them mad! Holy shit! What is this shit? Like, for real? I have no idea what the fuck is happening to me. Nice. Now it's gonna corner me, corner me up here. The hell is this shit now that I just fucking wasted in a corner? Wonderful. Okay. Rage! Ready yourselves! Today we fight a curse! A demon! Oh, mother, give her strength! Won't be long. Gotta get in position. Here it comes. Attack! Watch the Striders! It's driven them mad! Shit, fuck that. Oh my god, once again, stuck on the part of that bullshit. Alright, get down there to those. What the hell, dude?
Hopefully that these guys help me kill this thing, because if not, I'm gonna be fucking choked. Here's a good place, I guess. Good. Am I serious? Uh, okay, I was like, am I seriously stuck in there? Like, fuck. this work All the way back up? What the fuck? It's down. These things with the killers. Jesus Christ. How'd you do it? Show me. You made them obey you. How? Mm. This. You did it with this. It's connecting to my focus. Then I could use this. It's worth a shot. Loops of wire. Looks like it'll hold. I just need to test it. Aloy, how did you do that? You killed that demon. Pulled its guts from the carcass. The way it controls other machines. I think I figured it out. But I need to test it on a machine. Uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the embrace, I guess. Exactly. And the gates are where I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But what? I think you're a blessing from All Mother. No matter what Ress says. <laughs> He's probably dead. Thank you, Teb. But I have to go now. I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. Braves! I want that gate repaired immediately! I don't care if you have to bandage it together. Get it done.
Should have brought a cart. I'm done speaking with you, outcast. Good. I need to test this device. See what it can do. Alright, guys. Well, I need to fucking stop this broadcast. Plus, I have other shit to get going on. So, um... Yeah, shit got pretty janky there for a while. Oh, my God. But, um... I'm gonna get started on the next video here. Either later or tomorrow. But, um, yeah, until next time, guys. See you later.